Hello everyone, I'm the Gaming Lemon and welcome to another MyGuard Xbox 360 video. Today we are discussing the next title update which is title update 6, also known as the 1.8.2 update bug fix slash patch title update. This is just a small little update that's fixing uh, loads of bugs that were added in the 1.8.2 update. And it's also adding a few nifty new little features that will be uh, very helpful. Every time there's a massive update out on Minecraft Xbox there will always be some bugs and there will always be kind of this uh, title update like a bug fix update after the massive update just because there will be loads of bugs added to the update. If you guys didn't understand uh, something I said then all these changes and uh, fixes will be in the description below so you can check them out there. So first let's get into the uh, changes and additions rather than the fixes. Firstly they've added an option to clear the quick select bar in creative interface. They've also added an option to enable or disable bedrock fog. They've added an option to toggle the HUD off and on, which in my opinion this is the best fix or addition or anything they've added in this uh, bug fix little update. Because as you guys know it was a little bit of a hassle uh, trying to turn HUD off uh, before. I mentioned in my video it would be great if there was an option to turn HUD on and off and now they've added that which is fantastic. Thanks a lot for watching these videos, that would be really helpful, thanks a lot. They've added an option to turn the player hand on and off. So this is kind of a combined feature with the HUD on and off. Because now you can turn the HUD on and off but uh, the hand will still be there. Now you can just turn that player hand on and off which will be very helpful when making kind of cinematics or machinimas. They've added a crafting recipe for golden apples. I thought something wasn't right there because uh, I was looking in the air. Uh, workbench and I never saw a crafting recipe for golden apples and that goes the same with pumpkin seed. I thought something was wrong there because I was looking in the workbench when I got some pumpkins but there was never an option to make uh, pumpkin seeds. So there we go, you can get pumpkin seeds now. They've made cakes stackable. I'm not sure if they uh, th forgot to do that in the actual update or not but there we go, cakes are now stackable. And they've also added a how to play page for host and player options for people that don't know how to use it. Okay, now we're moving on to fixes. I'm going to try and get through these as quickly as possible because there's quite a lot here. First one is they've fixed a problem with signs in online games causing crashes. Never experienced that uh, myself, but I'm not sure if any of you have. But nevertheless, it is fixed. A fix for a save renaming deleting the wrong save due to input received during the confirmation flow. I'm not too sure what that means. A fix to the mob generation code to increase the number of animals in the world. A fix for chests being incorrectly lit and rotated for maps from previous version. A fix for a problem with eating animation being shown for players who weren't eating. A fix for a problem with chest lids not behaving properly. A fix for animals looking like they were taking damage when they shouldn't. A fix for some sounds not playing when the player has an empty hand. A fix for lever sounds. A fix for fence skate sounds. A fix for split screen players sometimes having their settings zeroed. A fix for being damaged while flying over lava. Fix to stop lava, milk and water buckets being empty after using creative mode. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I've experienced that bug before and that was kind of annoying me, so thanks a lot. A fix for leader of the pack achievement being awarded incorrectly. Fix for leaderboard stats issue where the value store was incorrect. Thanks therefore, Jay. Uh, there was a massive uh, problem with the uh, leaderboards. They were really messed up and I think now they're going to be fine. A fix for hitbox problems with glass panes and iron fences. A fix for small character display changing colour to green. A fix for map rendering incorrectly in some situations with cloud disabled. I've never experienced that because uh, I always have clouds on. A fix for block rendering problem at the edge of the map. A fix for split screen players not being able to mine in the tutorial. A fix for players not being able to sprint or sprint fly in creative mode if the player was previously in survival mode with a low food bar. A fix for arrow damage not being ignored when PvP is turned off. A fix for activated pressure plates not working correctly. A fix for the load food bar hint appearing when loading a game in creative mode. A fix to remove the player shadow when the invisible option in the host privileges is used. That was annoying me because when I was uh, invisible and trying to troll my friends they could still see my shadow. So that wasn't really working out. A fix for red roses not being generated on the terrain. A fix for paintings being pushed by pistons. A fix so that players who can't eat due to the trust players option being off do not get exhausted. Fix for the interface disappearing after a share to Facebook action. So that's the old HUD glitch, so that's now fixed. I don't really mind because now we've got an uh, option to turn it on and off. Fix to the limit number of slimes, ghasts and silverfish that can be spawned in a world. Fix for the cursor position in creative mode being able to go off screen. Fix for players showing on maps when they should not be after the player dies and respawns. Fix for capes displaying wrongly when sprint flying. Fix for capes not displaying in the nether. A fix for capes not displaying when the player respawns. A fix for tools taking damage in creative mode. A fix so bows don't need or use up arrows in creative mode. 
And lastly, they've reduced the volume of the chest open slash closed sound effect, because apparently it was uh, a lot louder than it should be. So those are all the additions and changes of the next update. They haven't announced a release date yet, but um, it will be releasing very soon. I've never really experienced a lot of these uh, bugs before, but it's good to know that they've uh, fixed all of them. And hopefully people who are majorly uh, experiencing some bugs can uh, get back to playing the game normally now. Thanks a lot for J Studios for these uh, additions and changes. Thanks a lot for the HUD option, I really appreciate that. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and or a favourite. Subscribe for more Minecraft Xbox 360 content, and guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, Lemon out.